areolar connective tissue. This is made for Anami 10A lab at Mount San Antonio College. Let's review the four main tissue types. We have epithelial tissues, connective tissue, muscle tissues, and nervous tissue. The entire body can be broken down into one of these four tissue types. Connective tissue uh, is characterized by scattered cells. Unlike epithelial tissue, which you've already saw, here in connective tissue, don't expect the cells to be packed. That is, don't expect the cell to be next to each other. In this case of connective tissue, sometimes the cell has a lot of space, a lot of gap in between them. Now in that gap, in that space in between the cells, you will find proteins. Okay. Now the spaces outside the cells is called matrix. Okay. So the stuff outside the cell that you know, the cell is suspended in, if you will, that can be liquid, the matrix can be liquid, the matrix can be semi-solid, or the matrix can be solid. Connective tissue is often found under epithelial layers, never on the surface, because if it's on the surface, it will then be epithelial tissues. Um, here's the chart, kind of organizing all of the connective tissue in the body. You have, if you have the liquid matrix, then that would be under blood. Okay, if the liquid matrix, there will be blood, in which case the cells would be red cells or white cells, and the matrix would be plasma. If the matrix is semi-solid, it will be here under supporting uh, uh, connective tissue. And with cartilage, it would be semi-solid matrix. And you will learn that there are three kinds of cartilages. If it's bone, then it would be a, a solid matrix. And there are compact bones and spongy bone. Let's go now to connective tissue proper. With connective tissue proper, there are two types, loose and dense. When we say loose, we mean there are fewer fibers and a lot more ground substance in the matrix. When we say dense, we mean there are more fibers and less ground substance. By the way, matrix is equal to fibers plus ground substance. Okay. So when we say matrix, we, may, we mean fiber and the ground substance. Under loose, we mean uh, we have areolar and adipose tissue that we're really looking at. And with dense, we'll talk about regular dense um, connective tissue. So let's talk about areolar. Areolar loose connective tissue. It looks like this. Okay. The main cells that you have to know in here is fibroblasts. Okay. And you can see the cell uh, because of the nucleus. Okay. When you see the nucleus, you know that's a cell. And the most Common cells in areolar would be fibroblasts. In addition, outside the cell, okay, notice how the cells are just scattered. So there's lots of space in between. What's in the space? Well, we have fibers. The thick fibers are collagen fibers. The thin, skinny fiber would be elastic fiber. Okay, so all of this is on the list of stuff you must know. And where are we? Where do we find areolar loose connected tissue? is found widely distributed underneath epithelium of the body, okay, uh, surrounding capillaries, for example, okay. All right, so if we ask you with this picture, name this tissue, the answer we're looking for is areolar connective tissue. You don't have to have the word loose. But if we ask you, name this cell, and in that case, you would have to say fibroblasts. If we ask you, name this structure, the thick band here, that would be collagen fiber. If we ask you, name this line, that would be elastic fiber. And of course, we can also ask you, give us one location where we have areolar connective tissue. In this picture, it's a cartoon that shows you uh, what else can happen, what else can be present in areolar connective tissue. This is a little bit beyond the scope of the test, but you should know to make it complete and what's real in life. In addition to the fibroblast that we've already pointed out, and the collagen fiber and the elastic fiber, 
Just understand that you will have other types of cells in here. Sometimes you see a, a diplocyte or a fat cell, and oftentimes you will see white blood cells coming through the uh, areolar connective tissue. Here's the picture where we capture mast cells. Okay, that's different from fibroblasts. Okay, what you're responsible for for the first practicum is just fibroblasts. Okay, fibroblasts, but here you can see the collagen fiber, the skinny one would be the elastic fiber, and this whole tissue is areolar connective tissue. Here's another look. Okay, I'm staying with a different dye. This is more of a, a bluish color here, but you can faintly see the collagen fibers coming through. Collagen fibers. The dark elastic fibers you either see, and then the nuclei. Obviously, that would be a fibroblast. This is another look at areolar connective tissue. Here's another view. With uh, okay, this they label you mast cell, but really we're interested in remember would be fibroblast. Okay, fibroblast. Thick collagen fibers coming through, and the thin elastic fibers. Here, once again, is areolar, and from this view, you can still clearly see the collagen fibers coming through. Elastic fiber, thin, the fibroblast nuclei, the little dots, okay, and the bigger dots are going to probably be the uh, white blood cells. Here's another look. Okay, these big cells are probably white blood cells. It's the smaller dots that will probably be fibroblasts band of collagen fibers, thin elastic fibers, the whole thing is areolar connective tissue. Here's another look, areolar connective tissue, fibroblast nucleus, thick collagen fiber, thin elastic fibers. Here's another view of areolar connective tissue. Okay, lots of elastic fibers going on down here. And you see the, the, the reddish in the back, that would be more collagen fiber. And then the sprinkled nuclei, that would be fibroblasts. Here's another look at areolar connective tissue. Here we see a lot of collagen, I'm sorry, a lot of elastic fibers. You know, all these dark things, elastic fiber. And you kind of see the faint collagen fiber, the, the reddish thicker one in the back, and then the nucleus for fibroblasts. Okay. Another view of the same thing. Fibroblasts, you see fibroblast nuclei sprinkled throughout. The thicker reddish band would be collagen fiber. The thin uh, dark would be elastic fiber. The whole thing is areolar connective tissue. Here's another look under high magnification. Fibroblasts, collagen fiber, elastic fiber. Lower power, but still you can see pretty clearly the thick red, right? The thick red, all of that would tend to be, you know, the thick red here, that would be collagen fiber. Nuclei sprinkled throughout, that would be fibroblasts. And then, kind of hard to see, but the thinner black, the thinner lines, that would be uh, elastic fiber. And that's it.